Okay, I want to show you how to add multiple levels of information into your pivot table. If you notice, we have it by destination by month. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to pick up the office, and what you do is you drag it down to uh, the row area, for example. So notice what we have here. We have it first by destination, and then by office within destination. So right away, we have a whole new level of uh, information within our pivot table. Now, um, I'm going to pick up office. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up office and drag it above the word destination. And now, look what it happened. Now you have it grouped by office and then by destination within office. So, each of these different levels, either the row labels, the column labels, the report, or the values can have multiple levels of information. Uh, now, I can have more than two. I can have as many as I wanted to there. Uh, so let's pick up office and drag it back to the field list. Uh, let's try another one. Let's say I wanted it by the commission. The commission is either going to say a yes or a no. So I'm going to move that below the destination. Notice how I have the, the, the Cancuns, the no's and the yeses, and then the Cancun total, and then Norfolk, the no's and the yeses. Now what if I want all of the no's to be together? Watch. I'm going to pick up the commission and drag it above the destination and now look all of the nodes are together and then it's broken down by destination so you really can have uh, some interesting reports when you have multiple levels of information I'm going to pick up the uh, commission and move it back to the field list uh, just keep in mind you can have multiple levels in the report area the column area the row area and then the values now when you put it into the values it's going to give you additional numbers uh, here we're showing the sum of the total. Well, what if I also want to show the sum of the amount? I'm going to pick up the amount and drag it into the values area. Now you'll notice I have the sum and the total and the sum of the amount for each, uh, for each month broken down by destination. Uh, now what if you want to change one of those to be a count rather than a sum? Here's what you do. You're going to uh, come over, you, you can either do it here or you can do it over here. Yeah, so let's, let's do it over here. I'm going to right click on the word sum of amount. You pick on value field settings. And then you pick on, let's say we're going to make that account. And I'll click on OK. Notice how now we have the sum of the total field and the account of the amount field. Well, let's say I also want to see the sum of the amount at the same time. I want to pick up the amount and drag it back into the value section again. Each of these areas can have as many fields as you wanted to. Now notice what we have. We have the sum of the total, the sum of the amount, and the count um, for each destination for each month. So uh, notice when you add more fields to the different levels, you get the multiple levels of information. Now uh, let's say I just want to go back to the sum of the total. So I'll remove this uh, amount and I'm going to drag up this amount, put it back into the field list, and now we have our normal report. So it's, it's very easy to start getting different reports here and adding multiple levels of information.